guys welcome back to star soaps channel how are you today good i hope i'm doing pretty good do you want to know why because i get to do an extra special episode of treats and tap for you today squee <laughs> that's right this episode of treats and tap was made possible by the lovely cindy q of blonde bird bath <laughs> How gorgeous is that name? So she makes soaps and bath bombs and bath melts and all sorts of lovely goodies and I will leave a link below to her Facebook page so go check out her cool stuff that she makes. And what happened was I was browsing and looking at different pictures on my Facebook when this really stunning glycerin soap popped up and it had red, white and blue with stars and stripes and it was very patriotic, very American and I was quite inspired by it and so it said what do you think I should name this and a lot of people were saying uh, the song Star Spangled Banner I think they were saying like Star Spangled Soap as a suggestion and she liked that suggestion but I decided to come along and suggest Pride I think and in the end she didn't choose my suggestion either but she was so happy to have all these lovely suggestions that she decided she wanted to send everybody a little gift to say thank you how generous is that I thought it was very nice including to me all the way here in New Zealand which is a bit far and can be a bit expensive so thank you so much Cindy for sending us at Star Soaps this beautiful beautiful gift and let's go open it up and see what we got <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and open up this gorgeous box of goodies that we got. How pretty is that? She's drawn little stars. And she has really pretty handwriting. I like that. New Zealand. <laughs> okay, so I actually went ahead and cut the sellotape before I started filming, just to make this process a little bit quicker and easier. And look at this. Things disappearing over there. <laughs> this is a cigar box, and she did tell me um, that she was going to be. No, she told me that she's started doing things in cigar boxes, but I didn't know I was going to be getting one. It's beautiful. All right, so we'll just open that up. <gasps> wow, gorgeous. We've got a little card. I'm afraid, thank you. <laughs> Mm, everything smells wonderful. Aww. Ooh, cool card. It says, thank you for all you do to share and encourage others in the soapy world. I sent this your way since New Zealand is such a long way. Funny how Facebook makes us so much closer on the other side of the world. Hugs and peace from Cindy Q. Blonde Bird. I agree it's a little bit strange sometimes but it's wonderful and I really really love being connected with you all <sighs> so that's a really cool little card it says blonde bird bath is located in the beautiful high desert mountains of New Mexico our bath and body products are handmade in small batches with special attention to quality always animal friendly and phthalate free <laughs> visit birdhouse at www.blondebirdbath.com and Facebook Blonde Bird Bath. So I've left the Facebook link below but here is her website link if you would like to go and open another browser and go check it out. Alrighty and there's another little card there with little selections and here's our little bundle. Squee! Oh my goodness carefully. <laughs> oh, I could use the crystal. Okay, so the first thing that jumped out, look at that, oh my goodness, is a Georgia peach bath melt. And look at it, it's a little peach. It's like she's moulded it. Let's see if I can get better light on that. So you can really see it. It is adorable. Oh my goodness, I love it. So cute. Add the bath melt into the tub and watch it gently fizz away. Please be careful from when emerging from your bath. The rich butters that love your skin can also make your tub slippery. Do not ingest because it looks edible. It fully looks like a peach lolly and smells like a peach lolly. So that's very good to have that on there. Do not ingest so people don't. 
we've got like a little toy for like little Brighton or Alexis. That is sweet. <laughs> little pink see-through toy. And we've got an oh we've got a soap here. The rockin' rosemary soap. Look at that, it's packed full of rosemary. And there's a little bit here, so it's open a little bit so you can smell. Oh, it smells great. Very delicious. And look at this, she's got some sort of a fondant mat or something that she's placed in the mould. And it's created this amazing detail all the way around the side. And then on the top, we've got more rosemary to decorate the top. That is gorgeous. It has olive, coconut, olive, oh, sorry, olive oil organic coconut oil, sunflower oil, shea butter, cocoa butter, castor oil, distilled water, sodium hydroxide, kale and clay, sucrose, essential oil and rosemary, green sea clay and ground leaves of rosemary. Yum! That is delicious! Look at this beautiful little bundle and it has some lavender and some rosemary, maybe from her garden, all tied up in it. That is so beautiful. There's something else there as well. What is this one? We've got... I'm not sure. It's not lavender at all. I'm not sure what those are. If anybody knows what these sprigs are, leave in the comment section. Thank you, because I don't know what they are. Cindy, you could tell me, because I bet you know. <laughs> Alrighty, let's open this up. What have we got? <gasps> Two more! That is so generous. Three bars of soap and a bath melt and a little toy for the kitties. That is very generous. So this one here is groovy, baby. I love it. That is so funky. Purple, sparkly. This one looks like it might be a hot process. I wonder. It sort of has that whole process look. Once again, she's put it in the mould with the amazing pattern that it's left all the way around. Beautiful. Uh, again, olive, organic coconut, sunflower, shea butter, cocoa butter, castor, all the same oils, kale and clay, fragrance oil, mica, red African tea. Wow. So, uh, rooibos, rooibos tea or red bush tea is in there as well. And look at this groovy stamp. It is so cool. Blonde bird bath. That is super groovy. And finally, China lace. Which, look at that. It has lace on the top. How on earth has she done that? It's similar to this other idea where we've got an imprint going in, except this is raised up going the other way. It's almost as if she's taken real lace and placed it over there somehow and then, oh, I don't know. That is incredible. I love it. That is beautiful. Once again, same oils and butters. We have kale and clay, sucrose, fragrance oil, mica powder, titanium dioxide, dioxide and body safe glitter. Oh, and a cute little stamp on it that says believe in yourself. Oh, that is so adorable. And this one actually has a little stamp I'm noticing now as well. I didn't see this before. It's it's light because it's sort of mica dusted. Can you see that? It's like little leaves and a little bird. So beautiful. Oh my goodness, Cindy. Thank you so much for these little treaties. I just love them. I'm going to have to jump cut to a leather test now. Alrighty. Here we are. Back again at the beautiful scene of my sink. <laughs> and we're going to lather these bad boys up. So I just want to show you how the soaps look out of the packaging first because they are really gorgeous. This is Rockin' Rosemary and it has this beautiful gold mica stamp that's going to wash off the second I wash with it. So I really wanted you guys to get a good look at it. And I'll show you some photos I took as well. And here's how the fondant matte has worked. Isn't that beautiful? I just think she's amazing. It is just a gorgeous piece of soap. And next up, naked, we have China Lace. And this one also has a beautiful mica stamp on it. Believe in yourself. What a gorgeous message. And of course, this amazing raised lace. 
look. That's all soap on the top, which again is amazing, super impressive, and love it. It's a really beautiful wine red, that one. And last, but definitely not least, is Groovy Baby. <laughs> and she's actually got a stamp here that she's imprinted in Blonde Bird Bath. And it has this beautiful sparkly top. And once again, the incredible look at the detail on that leaf. Those prints have come out amazing. So jelly. <laughs> Gorgeous. So I'm going to start off by leathering Rock and Rosemary, like I said. So let's see how this bad boy leathers up. Well, there's a bit of texture to it from the ground rosemary. Oh, and a gorgeous, creamy leather. I can feel. Oh, it just feels so good. Can you see? It's not a huge, massive, bubbly leather, but it's super, super moisturizing. That is mica and a soap. Yum. And as you can see, sadly, that mica detailing does wash off the first time that you wash with it but these details will stay for much longer all in all oh, yum I love that one I'm gonna put that in my shower because it's so refreshing and yum so next up I'm going to leather groovy baby yeah no just groovy baby <laughs> this one also looks like it has some pieces of something in the green portion maybe some rosemary again so it has a mild exfoliating feel because of that oh and I like that fragrance mm, it's really nice and fruity and refreshing very nice once again a nice leather good and bubbly not huge but you can feel it has the nourishing moisturizing properties and that is definitely what makes that leather feel creamy like that. That's the best way to describe it. It feels creamy. So the final soap to leather is the China Lace. Probably my favourite soap from this little bundle that she sent me. And I'm going to see if it's exactly the same. I'm pretty sure that all of her soaps were the same recipe. So by rights they should all leather the same. I really don't want to rub off. Believe in yourself. <laughs> Oh, look at that. And yeah, again, it's, oh, it's a slightly pink leather. Cute! Oh, I love it. I'm such a little kid sometimes. Can you see that? It's only very slightly pink, but I like a coloured leather. It's fun. Very nice, creamy, like I say, very nourishing soaps. They don't feel like they would be harsh in any way. If you have sensitive skin, you could absolutely use them. Yum! Love. So I'm just going to work the leather, sort of the joined leather of all three of them in my hands now to show you how with a bit of work you can still get those dense, tight, foamy bubbles. Bit of water helps. Look at that. So you could absolutely shave with this. I think that most of the hand soaps that I get sent to me, I'm so blessed, I like this. You end up, when you work them, with quite a fluffy, dense leather. So, very impressed, Cindy, and blonde bird bath. Good job. Love! Alrighty, so that's how they lathered up. Pretty cool, eh? Now we've gone back in time. How bizarre is that? But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more episodes of Treats and Tat and other crazy things like that, feel free to hang around, become a member of the Star Soaps family, and feel the soupy love. <laughs> Bye now. Start, start, soap, soap, give me natural handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth, and the leather is surreal. Make the build up high, make the build up smooth. When you get your bubbles, well, you know it's getting cool. I love star soap. If you're gonna wash with something, make it handmade and make it extra yummy. I love all the coconut, canola, and olives. Nothing in the yucky, it's all made of love, love. love.
I'm like star, star, so, so, give me natural handmade soap made without any chemicals or unpronounceable ingredients. I really love the soap, the way it makes me feel. It's silky and it's smooth, and the leather is surreal. Make the food up high, milk the food smooth when you get your bubbles.